Ten Poorest Areas in England. Despite England's strong and positive economic indications, some of its areas are not having the complexion reflected by its overall data. In other words, some of its areas are poor, at least in a relative sense. And in the real sense, they're poorer than cities in other parts of Europe. By the time you're through with this video about the ten poorest areas in England, my views would have become yours. The neighbourhoods considered the poorest areas in England are those with the biggest shortages of basic social infrastructure, such as parks, playgrounds or public gardens, pubs, stores and sports facilities. They qualify for government grants meant for community renewals. They're the ones I'll love to spotlight in this video. So let's get down to analysing the 10 poorest areas in England in descending order. 10. Blurton, Stoke-on-Trent Blurton, which is in Stoke-on-Trent City Council, is our starting point. As a part of a Conservative and City Independent Coalition, Blurton is in the Stoke-on-Trent South Parliamentary constituency. If you're moving to England and are considering Stoke-on-Trent in the West Midlands as your last resort, you're advised to avoid living in Blurton. It's sadly one of the poorest areas, whose statistics of deprivation have climbed up significantly. There is nothing to really write home about Blurton. Blurton is probably the main reason why Stoke-on-Trent is listed among the highly deprived areas. Since the release of 2010 Indices of Deprivation, in which Stoke ranked 16th most deprived out of 3,262 local authorities, the actual most deprived areas have clustered around Blurton and a few other places. 9. King Standing, Birmingham Now let's go to North Birmingham to locate King Standing, the area that gives its name to a ward in Erdington. It's the next to be touched among the 10 poorest areas in England. The rate of home ownership in King Standing is way lower than the national average, be it via a mortgage or owning outright. Does that tell you something? You could discern an economic deprivation there. The lower rate of home ownership has unfortunately created a scarcity of accommodation and consequently jacked up the rent way beyond the national average. 8. Halton The next one of the poorest areas in England is Halton, a local government district in the northwestern ceremonial county of Cheshire. It has got a borough status and is administered by a unitary authority following its creation in 1974 as a district and non-metropolitan county. On April 1st, 1998, Halton of Cheshire was granted the status of a unitary authority area under Halton Borough Council. However, this has done next to nothing in improving the area's economic status. The data from the Office for National Statistics, the ONS, indicates that more than 25% of the neighbourhoods in this borough are among the poorest 10% of the 32,845 neighbourhoods assessed. As an example, the health of residents of Halton is statistically worse than England's average health ranking. 7. South Kirkby, Wakefield There's a town in the city of Wakefield in West Yorkshire called South Kirkby. This town is locally under the administration of South Kirkby and Moorthorpe Town Council. This town of South Kirkby is the next to be considered among the poorest areas in England. Some of the area of Wakefield District, according to the Index of Multiple Deprivation, and as the cases across the county, are home to poor people. South Kirkby is one of these. People in this town are generally poorer, only getting by with the most basics as they can't afford comforts and services generally at the fingertips of the English. Many of them are in and out of work a lot of times. They also rank among the less healthy. 6. South Elmshall, Wakefield We're still in the city of Wakefield in West Yorkshire in profiling the poorest areas in England. South Elmshall is a town and civil parish in this city. It lies some distance to the east of Hemsworth. As an active, busy but small market town located between Doncaster and Wakefield, South Elmshall is not economically advancing. The town hasn't really developed more than the small farming settlement it used to be before and during the Industrial Revolution, even though the sinking of collieries brought about a boom in its population. 
yet there are not enough modern housing units to cater to the workforce. The town struggled to improve its economic status between 2002 and 2007, but the global recession of the following year has obliterated all those efforts. 5. Isle of Sheppey Off the northern coast of Kent, we found an island known as the Isle of Sheppey as another one of the poorest areas in England. It may interest you to learn that the island derived its name Sheppey from Old English Skeepig, which means Sheep Island. I can't tell you the number of sheep on the island anyway. One of the most terrible places on the Isle of Sheppey is Sheerness, a coastal 0.3 mile stretch. It's one of the most deprived areas of England. The number of children living in poverty here is estimated at 800. The majority of those living on the Isle of Sheppey are UK born. This shows that poverty reigns in this area with a population older than the national average and that repels visitors and expats. 4. Hartcliffe, Bristol The name Hartcliffe refers to both the council ward and an outer suburb of the city of Bristol. This district of Bristol is made up of Hartcliffe and Headley Park, as well as a small portion of Bishopsworth and Withywood. It is one of the poorest areas of England on the northern slopes of Dundry Hill. The major problem of the people living in Hartcliffe is that they are earning a very low income. According to a study, Hartcliffe is a place immersed in poverty and a lack of access to decent, affordable stores or greengrocers where good quality fresh produce can be picked. These businesses can't be there because the residents can't patronise them as they don't have the means. 3. Great Yarmouth Also known as Yarmouth, Great Yarmouth is a seaside resort town in Norfolk straddling the River Yare, about 20 miles east of Norwich. Sitting on a 3.1 square mile parcel of land between the North Sea and River Yare, the town has rows of houses lining its narrow streets. Unfortunately, it remains one of the poorest areas in England. One of the contributors to the poverty in Great Yarmouth is racism that has not been addressed. Another one in this seaside town is mass unemployment with its usual attendant problems such as drug addiction and petty crime. Things are so bad that a school in town had to set up a food bank to support families who can't afford to eat. No wonder the town is plagued with social problems such as teenage pregnancies and single parenting. 2. Hartlepool The large port town of Hartlepool in northeastern County Durham is the largest settlement and administrative centre of the larger borough of Hartlepool. Located 32 miles southeast of Newcastle upon Tyne and 17 miles southeast of Durham, it's also 20 miles southeast of Sunderland and 12 miles northeast of Stockton on Tees. Surprisingly, such a large town can be among the poorest areas in England. The Hartlepool Property Ownership and Rental Statistics reveals a lower rate of home ownership than the national average. Also, the proportion of children in low-income households are way above the England average. In almost all measurements of economic well-being, Hartlepool is doing so badly. 1. Jaywick Our final point of call, which is actually the poorest area in England, is Jaywick, a coastal village located in the Tendring district of Essex. It's two miles west of Clacton-on-Sea and on the North Sea coast of England. It's also 60 miles from London and 17 miles from Colchester. Even though it once served as a popular holiday destination, it has now ranked England's poorest area for two years in a row. It's so bad that a whopping 40% of residents of Essex Seaside Village live on benefits. On TV documentary series are images of neglected houses and unpaved roads riddled with potholes. The Essex Council has recently pumped some $8.8 million into improving the infrastructure in Jaywick, but it was so bad that that huge among has not been very impactful. As you can see from this list, those poorest areas in England have fewer civic amenities and cultural assets per person. That is why they could also be counted among the left-behind neighbourhoods and deprived areas. With this less density of community assets, physical and mental health has suffered for it. It's now your turn to react. Do you agree that these are the 10 poorest areas in England? If you know any other area of England poorer than these, 
Please let us know and kindly tell what you base your ratings on for the purpose of education, information and enlightenment. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.